We've made some changes to Land Online for capturing tax information in Workspace, previewing, saving and printing tax statements, and creating correction of tax information requests. Part 1. Capturing tax information. You'll notice a new tax details button when preparing your transfer in Workspace. Clicking on this opens the Prepare Tax Statement screen. This screen allows you to enter tax information and to generate a tax statement that can be previewed, saved and printed. Upon entering the screen, you will see two main panels for entering tax information. The Transferor panel and the Transferee panel. Entering information into these panels is basically the same. Look at the Transferor panel, you will see a column labelled Responsible. The Responsible column indicates the transferors and the transferees your firm must provide tax information for. When one firm is representing all parties, the Responsible checkbox will default to Selected. However, in multi-party dealings, where there are different firms representing different transferors and transferees, you will need to select which party you are responsible for. This is done by clicking on the checkboxes in the Responsible column. We have selected Betty Boo, who is from Belgium. However, before entering tax details for Betty, it's important to note you can only view tax information your firm is responsible for. The first column is the Statement Date field. This is the date your client signs the printed tax statement. Although this field is compulsory, you can print a tax statement without a date and enter the date in workspace at a later stage. We will explain printing in part two of the video. For this demonstration, we have entered the 1st of October 2015. Having entered the tax statement date, we now need to complete compulsory questions 1.1, 2.1 and 2.2. This is done by simply clicking into the drop-down list and selecting the answer that is applicable. For question 1.1, does the transfer involve land that has a home on it? We have selected yes. Before completing questions 2.1 and 2.2, it is important to note that question 2.2 is only compulsory for transferees. As Betty is a transferor, the answer for question 2.2 has defaulted to not applicable and cannot be changed. The window also includes an exempt or non-notifiable reason drop-down list. This drop-down list is used to select a reason why a person does not need to provide some tax information or a tax statement. For our demonstration, we have not selected an exempt, non-notifiable reason. In this scenario, Betty is from Belgium and needs to provide her New Zealand IRD number. There is also a column to indicate tax residency. The tax info number is a tax number for individuals outside the jurisdiction of New Zealand. Once those columns are completed, you'll see a tick in the complete field indicating all required tax information has been provided. The example we have gone through is a simple transfer. However, there are other transfers, such as a transfer grant of easement, that have images attached to them. The process for capturing tax information in these transfers will be largely the same, with the only difference being how transferor and transferee names are entered. This screen is for a transfer and grant of easement, and there is an Insert Names button. Clicking this brings up the Insert Names screen, which enables us to enter transferors and transferees into our dealing. The Add Name and Delete Name buttons add and delete rows as required. The Transfer of checkbox selects the transferors and transferees who need to provide tax information. For example, in the case of a transfer grant of easement, there may be transferees in the instrument receiving the benefit of an easement, but are not transferring land. In this situation, they do not need to provide tax information, so you uncheck the Transfer Of button. Now that we have covered how to capture tax information, we are now ready to view, print and save our tax statements.